In today's video, we're finding out which exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! product is better. Light of Destruction, the reprint, or Retro Pack 1, the reprint. What's up guys, we are back with another video. In this video, we have the most recent sets that have come out, which are very weird because Light of Destruction was released to Europe only. So us in the US, we didn't get this unless we ordered it from overseas, very strange. But then immediately after they gave us a Retro Pack 1 reprint that was US only. And not only that, it was like not, it, okay. I said it was retail only. Apparently there are booster boxes out there, but like not everywhere because like Sassiato didn't know about them. Like all the big distributors, like. I think tier zero and maybe it was gamers choice. I don't remember. I heard like a bunch of those big people never heard that there was a booster box, but somehow some locals knew there were booster boxes that they could order. So I contacted my locals asking, hey, do you guys know about these booster boxes? Never heard of it. But then they were able to order one case only. So I don't know what happened with that. This release is super weird. Both of these releases are super weird. So I figured why not put them head to head and see which one is better. But because this is a booster box and we just talked about why I don't have booster boxes of this set, there are four packs in here. So I got six of these mini boxes. So 24 versus 24. That is gonna be the battle we have today. It should be a pretty fun one because both these sets have a lot of potential and awesome stuff. And maybe we'll pull that Judgment Dragon from Light of Destruction. And I will also be doing a giveaway for every card in this video. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below which card you wanna see pulled and that you can win in the giveaway. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an auction platform app where you can buy from sellers such as myself and many other creators, influencers, celebrities, and many other sellers as well. I will be live on Whatnot this Thursday selling the new Retro Pack reprints which have just taken the Yu-Gi-Oh! world by storm. They're so much fun. There's so many foils inside. They look amazing because they're the old style cards. They are US only so I know a lot of international people have struggled getting them so we will have some available live on Whatnot for auction. There will also be Buy It Now available. We'll also be giving away some mini boxes of Retro Pack 1 that you can win just by being at the stream. So make sure you go to Whatnot right now. Click the link down below. Get $15 free credit for new users then go to my profile ruxin 34 bookmark the show and then make sure you're there for the stream at 5 p.m central because we'll be doing all those giveaways all those sales it's going to be really amazing and don't forget to follow me as well because we're almost at 15,000. we might do a special opening for 15,000 when we get there so make sure you give me a follow this is going to be super fun retro pack is one of the most exciting reprints they've done in a while i'm definitely a big fan of it so i want to see you guys at the stream thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video all right uh it looks a little dark i bumped the light up a little bit let's open this uh light instruction box we're gonna have 48 packs being open. Let's get to it. I'm going to keep those light destruction in the box. We'll put them back there. 48 packs to be open. Um, yeah, the angle's a little uh, a little close, so you can't see everything too well, but let's get to it. Let's just get the cards are the most important, right? Not the actual packs not being opened. Let's see. Let's, uh, what is it? Four from the back, I think. Let's try that. We have Maha Vilo. We have Twin and a Thunder Dragon. I've been wanting to open this because I opened it right before I left on a weekend trip. Uh, for the first video and then I had to wait for my other packs to get here anyway so I've been wanting to open this again for the Raigeki Ultra Rare and the pull rates are absolutely crazy on this like it is very easy to pull foils in here which I know some people were not happy about in the comments I understand that but it's also a reprint so it's like it is what it is it's it's fun to open so there's that um the secret rares I'm seeing there's a bunch of misprint secret rares where like the name is not on there which is pretty cool i have not even pulled a secret out of retro pack yet so i'm very excited to see if we can there will be a score on the screen between these two and both of them are in like they've been released so there's not any sort of like uh pre-release versus pre-release so this is a completely fair matchup if i had to pick one right now I think because Retro Pack has so many like foil, so much foil potential, and it's a little bit newer, the prices probably haven't completely uh, settled yet. So it'll probably help a little bit, but Light Destruction could pull a Ghost Rider. I think it's like 150 bucks or something. So that's pretty big. Mold Destruction, UFO Turtle. We have Flying Kamakiri, Giant Trunade, Lajin Super Rare. You can't even hardly tell. I love the old school look to these. I know a lot of people were really excited about that. And these aren't going to have uh, super damage. Well, I say that there's a damage corner. Uh, but the original Retro Pack 1 was super damaged. Like, all the corners were really, really bad. So, two foils versus zero here. Uh, this could, There's going to be a lot of, of pulls in this, because you usually get, like, four in a, in a Light of Destruction, I think. So, we're going to get a lot of stuff. If we just get the Judgment Dragon, I'll be happy to complete the full the full set. We pulled everything but the Judgment Dragon out of the set. Miracle Flipper. Deck lockdown, baby. Deck lockdown. You know what else we haven't pulled? Yeah, there it is. We're going to be using this mat. I've committed. This mat will be our video mat until we pull the Magia. So that might be a week. That might be a month. 
That might be a year. That might be 10 years. We might never pull it. It might be the mat we use for forever. Um, I hope that's not famous last words. I hope that we pull it at some point. And I don't have to use it forever. Guy the Dragon Champion. So we have now pulled three foils in a row. Uh, it's almost every pack. It feels like you're pulling one, which is a little much if you want to get nitpicky. But at the same time, it is super fun to go buy a, a little box to get like four foils. You know, one, two, three, four. It doesn't happen every time. I think it's maybe 50 50, something like that. Lady in white, light spiral, level tuning. Nothing out of light destruction yet. I'm, I'm just saying. Spell gear, a little ancient gear action, and light of redemption. There we go. Not exactly as exciting, you know, Light of Redemption versus Guy the Dragon Champion, but we'll take it. So far, it feels like Retro Pack has a pretty solid lead in terms of this. This should be a really fun one for whatnot because there's like almost every time feels like you're getting something good. I'm super excited for Thursday's stream. I wish I could have done it last week, but I was headed out of town. Uh, this should be pretty awesome. And I also didn't have enough product because I had to do our video and then I was out. <laughs> Megamorph, our first rare. So uh, mine is arriving. I actually have no idea how much retro pack I'm getting because I pre-ordered on GameStop. It kept being weird about my payment method, acting like it wasn't working. But then I got a ton of emails, so I'm not sure if they all went through later and I have like three or two or three times as many orders as I thought. If I do, it's a pretty fun set, so I won't be too mad if I have like a million extra boxes. Raging Clouding and Lila, the Light Sworn Sorceress. That's pretty sweet. Ultra rare, beautiful card. That'll definitely help that side. Okay, retro pack one. Here we go. Let's keep it up. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the 250K special, which by the way, thanks to retro pack and that video like doing really well, we went way up in subs. So we're almost, I think we're about 7K or a little bit less than 7K away. And it was just 8K. So thank you retro pack for really assisting us with that and allowing uh, us to get to 250 even quicker. I'm super excited for all those openings. Oh, our first Seeker Rare ever pulled from the reprint. Amazon is Chain Master, only the second ever in Retro Pack. The first one I pulled was from the original Kaiba Man and the 100K special, if you guys remember that. Amazon is Chain Master. Man, these cards look so good. If it weren't for this date, I mean, honestly, it'd be pretty hard to tell. I mean, you'd probably just look at the back and like, this card's in way too good a condition to be an original. But uh, thankfully, the date's there so you can differentiate and they look great at the same time. That is awesome. Great pull. Amazon is Chain Master. A little warped. I wonder how I wonder how the price is on that thing. Uh, on the original one, I did we did the original prices because it was an early release. So we kind of just wanted to have some prices on there, like, you know, just to compare, but they don't really add up when it comes to, you know, now they're way easier to pull cards. So it's like the prices are not gonna be the same as the originals, plus they're newer, etc. So this video should have the new prices like from TCG and everything and these should be accurate you know as of when I post it keep in mind like if you watch the video in three days it might have changed or in a week or in a month or whatever people will comment on prices from like two years ago sometimes and I'm like well two years ago that was correct I'll start gobbling a black legion ritual he's in room oh and a summon skull that is awesome summon skull retro pack one beautiful look man that looks so good so good this is such a fun set Light of Destruction. Um, we're comparing the two. I mean, I think you know which one I like better. <laughs> I mean, they're both pretty good, but uh, I mean, I think Retro Pack 1, for me, has a pretty big advantage. Uh, Deformation, Lucky Chance. We've got a Jinzo Lord, super rare, another foil. We'll take it. Uh, so yeah, if you're from Europe or from US, it's kind of a little bit of a battle. I know a lot of the people in Europe are like, man, I really wish we got Retro Pack. Same thing kind of with the US, but the Retro Pack has kind of had so much hype behind it. I feel like we got we got the better end of the, the deal here. Black Illusion Retro, we got Hideo Zanru, Mystic Tomato. Karibo. I think I'm going to keep all of my Retro Pack 1 cards just for like old school, like fun duels. Like if I ever want to build like fun decks, you know, with just like basic cards. Retro Pack 1 is kind of the way to do it. So I'm probably just going to keep all of those for the future. D4 Chun, Squad, Garganeth. Lady in White, Sanguine Swamp. We have Volcanic Queen. Arcane of Force, Cup of Ace. And this Blade Rider, the Chaos Rider Gustav, retrain. Retro pack, let's keep it up. Let's keep it going. One, two, three, four. We have Seven Tools of the Bandit, Black Pendant, Elegant Egotist, Thousand Dragon, Giant Rat, Toon Mermaid, Mega Ryuran. We have Toon Summon Skull, and the Swords of Revealing Light. So cool. Man, the foil looks great on these. It's just very subtle. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm liking how these are looking so far. One, two, three, four. Maybe we'll have uh, as good a luck as we've had with this Retro Pack 1 with Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge very soon. Um, if you guys have not seen the uh, Magia Hunt 
uh playlist yeah it, there is a playlist you guys can go check it out maze you hunt playlist it'll be on the screen go check it out go see if we've pulled it yet i think I, you already know if i have or not but go go watch them they're still they're still pretty fun we're probably going to be doing another video friday or saturday rhyme style challenged me to a battle so i think that that is really our chance rhyme style hopefully will bring us some of his fairy dust luck over there he's insane he pulls everything yeah so hopefully i think he has already pulled one and he has a psa 10 so like he is the king of magia he sends us a little luck arcana force one and dark valkyria that would be pretty nice uh we have retro pack come on baby yeah i i, I hope we pull it i just want to pull it guys i want to pull it dragumo so badly arm ninja Shh. we have gazelle we have tune we have nimble mongo we have sonic bird and a Monster Reborn. Man, look at all these crazy cut commons. They are still pretty bad. Monster Reborn, super rare. So one secret, one ultra, and a bunch of supers so far, I think, is our ratio. LODT, can you bless us with a secret rare as well? And the secret I'm looking for, please. Short circuit, we have Garganeth. Level tuning, come on. Give us that JD. That would be super exciting. Arcane Force Zero. <gasps> or a Ghost Rare Honest! Oh my goodness! Let's go! Okay, that might have just uh, that might have just changed the tide of the battle. All right, all right, Ghost Rare Honest. Hello, <laughs> hello there, buddy. Honest, the Ghost Rare. That is pretty sick. Okay, wow, that is the first box out of a case. And so all these boxes probably don't have a Ghost Rare. That is a little bit sad. So <laughs> I guess I'll just hold on to it for a while. It's the good and the bad thing about opening a case and pulling the ghost. It's like. I got the ghost, but now it's like, are the, do the other boxes have a ghost? Probably not. Could be worse, though. Could be worse. I will not complain too much about that. I think LDT is now taking the lead because that's I think that's last I saw was about 155, but that was before, you know, the weekend. So a lot could have changed. Oh, Dark Magician. <laughs> wow, what an opening. These reprints are so fun. So like. I know there's some negatives. Some people aren't happy. They're reprinting all these old sets. But in terms of just nostalgia and like players trying to get in for a cheap, not players, but collectors trying to probably not players, maybe some medicine players for this, not necessarily retro pack, but collectors trying to get in at a cheap price for some nostalgia. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Like we got the 5Ds era or the uh, technically late GX, but almost 5Ds era. And then you've got like the classics. So it's very cool. I know 2018 Ruxin would have been so pumped about these releases, especially Retro Pack. Like 2018 Ruxin would have gone nuts. So I'm trying to think in that regard as well, not just, uh, oh, we got to hold the value of everything, uh, Ruxin. So yeah, it, it, there is, there's a fine balance. And I think that Exodia, the Forbidden One, we haven't pulled a single piece yet, by the way. That's not, that was crazy. We almost pulled five pieces in one video with only like five mini boxes, 20 packs. That was nuts. Wow, we've pulled Exodia. We still have not pulled Blue Eyes out of here. We have to pull Blue Eyes. We're definitely going to do, when I get more packs, we're definitely going to do like a case of these mini boxes, which I think would be five each probably per display. So it'd be 25. No, no, no. Was there... I'm trying to think in terms of the, how many were in the legendary collection one? I don't know. I'll do like a case thing whenever I get enough of them, uh, whenever they show up. If I got as many as I thought I did, giant soldier, I don't know. We'll try to figure it out. We'll try to do more retro pack openings. They're super fun. We have mystic tomato and there we go. Left leg. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll do this. If it gets crazy again, maybe, maybe we'll start getting hot. That's going to be hard to set right there. Wait. Okay. Let's just put those like right there. I know it's not completely visible. A little, oh, that glare is bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm a little bit close to the screen right here. That's why it's why it's kind of weird. Okay, we have summon limit, arcane of force. We have arcane force three. Rocks and special solar recharge. <laughs> this card loves us. We've literally pulled this ulti like six, seven times. It's one of the most valuable ones in the set. So, uh, wow, this is a really good. Really good LDT box. I'm not sure if you can get a secret and a ghost because I think when we when we did our big opening the other day on the live stream, go check it out if you missed it. I think I came to the determination of about eight secrets per case. So it's like four of them wouldn't have a secret. One would have a ghost. So it'd be like three boxes had neither. And then one would have ghost, eight would have secrets. So it's unlikely that we get one in each, like a, boast a or both a ghost and a secret. All right, Maha Vila, we have Flame Swordsman, Senju, Giant Germ. I'd be interested to see like the booster box ratio for those retro pack. Another Monster Reborn, very nice. If I can get my hands on a retro pack booster box, I'll try to. Problem is, I think my locals will have a case. I'll try to get one from them. Um, problem is, they are people were being weird about it. Like you'd ask them, 
hey, uh, wh where'd this come from? They're like, oh, no, 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 who knows, anywhere, you know? They were like being super sketchy about it. So I don't know what the deal with like those were, why they weren't available to be pre-ordered and stuff and like why they didn't go to distributors or whatever, I don't know. I'm not sure. So we'll see if that turns into something else like for future sets or if that's just because of this set's super weird and it's like mostly retail. I don't know. Dude, Summon Skull, we'll see in the future. Uh, Miss Tomato. Oh, and a Time Wizard. Very cool. I think we pulled one Time Wizard last time. Very awesome looking card. Keep it going. LODT, uh, I'm just hoping for a secret now. I'm hoping for a secret. JD, I mean, that would make this the best, almost best possible box. Oh, maybe the best possible box. I'm struggling. I'm Rux especially. I'm hitting the microphone uh, and I'm pulling rares. Okay, not awesome. I'm wondering what the score is because I don't know the retro pack prices right now. We've pulled so many foils, but they have a ghost shirt and solar recharge. I don't think it's possible they could be ahead because like in, unless we pull, I mean, I guess Dark Magician Exodia could be decent. If we pull like Blue Eyes, that could bring us back. Sonic Bird and uh, Lord of D. I know early on the Blue Eyes went for like 90, but because these cards are not like crazy hard to pull, I'm guessing that goes down, but We'll have to see what happens because, you know, it's a weird release. Not as many booster boxes out there, so less cards will be pulled, though, though it's like easier to pull up per pack. There's probably less packs out there, so it's going to be interesting to see how the prices shake out with this one. Uh, Space Gift and Genzo Return. I really don't know how it's going to work out, but let's just keep it going. All right. One, two, three, four. Griffkeeper Servant. I would love to pull the blue eyes. If we don't pull it, we're going to have to do a specific search for it. Upstart Toon World. Toon Mermaid, Mother Grizzly, and Wall of Illusion, which is a pretty good card for like, especially like sealed format slash limited format. I mean, it's a pretty crazy card. Just bounce, especially 1850 defense back then. It's bouncing you back every time you attack it. Pretty annoying. We have Limit Reverse, Reversal Fate. Let's go. Does it say attack or? Yeah, attack. Okay, so it's not just damage. Like you couldn't attack into something else. It would have to attack you. Arcane Force. So it really only works like once. Um, Nigel Servant, and then and then when you attack over it, you still have to uh, you still have to get bounced. So it could work twice, one for by surprise, and then one to get over it. So pretty pretty annoying, especially when like a lot of it is mostly tributes in that era that have to get over it. If it's not like a fissure or something, uh, you have to use like your Genzo and it bounces it back. Oh, Catapult Turtle, that's nice. Speaking of old formats, go check out Wheeled Goat. It's been a great series so far. Uh, we're getting some great guests on there. It's been super fun. I've really been enjoying playing Goat format every week. And uh, it's it's been great. So if you guys have not seen it already, go check it out. I'm having a blast doing that. We have Realm of Light. Uh, there, of course, will be a lot of uh, a lot of fun comments that you get to read. Uh, we have the Helios Trice. Yeah, you get to read all kinds of great comments about like uh, stick to pack opening. You don't know what you're doing. You know, if you make like one misplay or something or something that somebody views as a misplay. Those are always really fun. Um, we, d we did check those out on Twitch the, the other day, and that was really fun. Just reviewing those live giant germs uh oh and there we go there's one of the misprints we have a copycat no name this okay this seems extremely common which is pretty bad for quality control the thing is it does have like the imprint so it's not going to be like crazy money anyway plus it's super common so i don't know what these are going to go for they're going to go for more probably than the regular but I would guess not that much more because I have seen so many people pulling these misprints that I don't think it's actually that crazy. Like if I had pulled that before I knew everyone else was pulling it, I would have freaked out. But I think there's just a lot of people doing it. So it's not that rare. It's still really cool though to be able to say you pulled like a no name and stuff, uh, especially copycat. It's a really cool secret. It's kind of, <clears throat> it kind of sucks when it's so common though, because it's just bad quality control. You know, it's like there's no value added to it, and now your card doesn't have a name. You know, <laughs> Darker Mobile Cannon, super rare. So yeah, it's uh, kind of weird. A uh, few packs left. I'm still okay with pulling some uh, some cool secrets though, so I'm not mad. The big one we want out of there is what, like Cyber Harpy Lady is probably pretty big secret rare. We haven't pulled the Kaiba Man yet, which would be cool because I did pull that in the original one. Uh, Rising Air Current. And Sangin, that's a big super rare. That's really, really cool. So now I'm, I'm pretty sure my turbo pack one might even be considered high rarity now uh, because now there, there's a reprint on the retro pack. Who knows? I've been running my turbo pack in my high rarity decks or whatever because I pulled it and it was like in really great shape. And I was like, I don't know, want to spend like 250 on the retro pack version. Well, it's probably gone down now. I'm not 100% sure how it got affected by these reprints because you can't tell the difference. So that should help it not be too bad. Uh, portable battery pack with some limit. And Solar Recharge again, ultra rare, not bad. We'll take that, not bad at all. We're down to eight 
packs left. Oh, I forgot we're doing this as a giveaway. Oh, frick, we're giving one of the ghost rare. You guys, oh my goodness. You guys are about to, this is like a $400 giveaway, I think. Wow, okay, you guys are, you guys are making out like a bandit. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for this one. That's for sure. I didn't even think about that. You guys are crushing this. I've been splitting these up like I'm gonna put the retro pack cards like in my uh, in my box. I don't even didn't even need to do that because it's going right to you guys. Wow. Talk about a nice giveaway. Ghost rare and solar recharge ulti. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Glad to help. We have Realm of Light. Make sure you enter that giveaway because don't miss it. Jane Lights from Paladin. I announced those on the YouTube community tab if you're curious. Rex and special where we have a bunch of giveaway winners. And if you have been, you want a giveaway and you have not contacted me, send me an email. A lot of you guys uh, have not seen it. So a lot of you guys have claimed them, but there are some that are unclaimed. So I don't want you guys to miss them. Two, three, four. I just realized in the middle of this, you guys are about to have a crazy giveaway. Arm Ninja, we have Gazelle, Rising Air Current. Should be pretty sick. And then of course, we're gonna have some amazing ones. I forgot this was in this set. Gate Guardian, Ultra Rare. That looks good as an ultra. It fits the it fits the vibe of that card for some reason. That's nice. Okay. And then of course we're gonna have some big giveaways on whatnot as well. So there's a bunch of big giveaways this week. You guys can win. So just make sure you like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what you think about this battle. I mean, wow, holy crap. Uh I'm interested to see the score at the end of this. Uh it's been pretty crazy. I'm guessing that LODT pulled it out. I mean, that was like max performance like that was like dropping like 65 points in an nba game right there it's about as good as you can do i don't think we're getting exodia by the way <laughs> at this rate i'm not feeling too good about it arcane force one deformation space gift and the froggy force field i think i miscounted somehow because there's three ldt packs at some point i did two retro pack in a row so let's get back to this all right short circuit here we go baby Let's pull something crazy. Sanguine Swami of Miracle Flipper. Ruxin special. We did get a secret Guardian of Order. This is such a crazy box. Wow, so you can get a ghost and a secret and an ulti. Okay, okay, just piling it on. That's not a crazy secret, but that'd have been JD. That'd have been nuts. Wow, retro pack. You need blue eyes right here. And in the last two packs, you got to do it to come back. Or summon skull again. All right, double summon skull. All right, we're gonna do both these light of destruction because I'm pretty sure they're ahead. The thing is, whenever I guess who's ahead, I'm always wrong. But if they're not ahead, it's literally impossible for them to win because like they pulled all the best cards except for like JD in secret. That would have been the only thing that could have been different. Hero blast rare. All right, one pack of LDT left. Then we have retro pack trying to come back. All right, I don't think there's anything left. Maybe a super in here. So I think we've pulled everything. We pulled two ultras. Secret Goat, yep, okay, there is a super. So super rare in there, I'm Rux and Specialing everywhere. Last pack magic, retro pack. Will you have a blue eyes? I mean, maybe if that's still expensive, that could bring you back, we'll see. We have polymerization, baby dragon. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's 150K, we're opening every pack. Here we go, check out Ruxa34.com if you guys wanna support the channel. I have a lot of stuff available over there. Lots of stuff, old school, new school, graded packs, booster boxes, go check it out, here we go. We have Mother Grizzly, and one last card. Oh, another Sangin, that's sweet, okay. Beautiful looking card, what an awesome opening. Let me know down below which is your favorite of these recent reprints and region exclusives. Shout out to Tolan Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.